Figma partnered with Lottie, so I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own custom GIF without having to go download GIFs. All right, so this is um, this can be done in actually two ways. One, this works mainly with shapes. All right, but there are instances where you may want to use this Lottie system or feature with components because you may want to represent them in your website design in some other case use cases and it would not be possible if you don't follow through with the process i'm going to stay so without wasting much of your time i'm going to leave ado for now for ado go uh let's dive right into it all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to set your designs all right so for this purpose i have created just a simple check mark and i've created like a celebration stuff going around it i also reduced the size of this uh fun fact i was actually recording this video and then something happened and i had to like just go settle that and come back so let's get back to it all right so the next thing you're going to do is you will have to prototype this and i'm not seeing the prototype so i'm just going to increase my canvas a bit all right so with that i would select this and i am going to hit prototype and i had already prototyped it actually so move it to this one on after delay and i put it on bouncy and let us see how this would show so while the prototype is loading you may want to open up lottie so come to lottie i would search for lottie l-o-t-t-i-e I for ice cream all right so that my eye will not scream <laughs> all right let's run that and um, it's going to load up up here and why that is loading it's it's up already so that's one of the benefits of a fast network <laughs> and a fast laptop um, so we're going to go to the Lottie screen and see what we had done all right so this is it I'm going to actually take that back again this way and put that on after delay and let's see how that works all right it's just there very simple all right you can play around it uh, let's say we make this 300 and let's see cool all right so that's it we have our animation uh, our prototype and all we need to do now is select both of them go to Lottie and I will log in I had logged in before but via another browser so I'm going to skip this part and that's how you log in I'm logged in go back to your board and you would see it there all right click on export to the lottie and you're going to see export to lottie so click on export to lottie and there is our stuff all right so that's it um you can make it faster here yeah, or just you know use it here all right then you can insert as gif it's going to bring out three options i like the larger one so you can choose the larger one and click insert gif and this is going to load and um, you're going to get your gif um, in a short while now there's another way to do this and that way is when you have um, this with text and we're just going to do a component right now i'm just going to draw something of three three seventy five in width um, 375 in width and a height of 44 all right just something really small like this i'm going to reduce the sizes of this guys in just this way all right i'm going to take this one take this one duplicate it using alt and i'll put it in here zoom into this let's enlarge or uh, reduce the size of this screen right so we have this and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to type something so let's just type something type 
something all right and reduce the size to 20 let's do 20 type something and um, I'm going to move this to this point and center this to the frame I'm going to draw another frame a circle here and this time it's going to be 44 why this one will be 60 so I'm going to hold alt and just increase it to 60 right center this and we can just choose an image for this so that we have three elements so go to on splash right so I'm using the on splash uh, plugin for my images in case you want to know all right and I would go to portraits and I'll just choose the first portrait which is very popular right do you know you can adjust the image if it's not in line with the circle or your shape you can just click on the image come to fill choose crop and then you can just drag it downwards like that and that's it all right select this i'll just select this and this auto layout and this auto layout and i'll just put them in an auto layout frame all right so we have this now let's try to do a lotty again let's assume we have um something like that and you know what i won't put them in auto layout right so we have this center that horizontally and vertically and i'm going to drag this one downwards and i'm going to type i'm going to type something so i'm going to type i'm going to type da 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 right and for this one i would give it an outline instead of one and uh, close this out and get rid of the circle right so we have this and we want to turn this into a gif all right so maybe um yeah we have to prototype this so go to prototype we would have to increase this again all right select this and go to prototype and from here just drag it downwards i'll put it at after delay i'm going to change it back to ease out and close this out select the design and we can take this back to how it's supposed to be all right so select both of them and all i'll do now is very simple i'll go to my lottie all right go to lottie and here go to export to lottie go to export to lottie and you can see this won't work because we have um we have um a frame inside of a frame so when you have like a frame inside of a frame it won't work when it comes to lottie so we have um frames and if i break this this is inside of a frame if i break this and this and refresh this you're going to now see you can see we have some of these elements now reflecting but it's not going to work until you do what i'm about to show you so what should you do very simple i'm going to select this move it out and i'm going to export it all right i'm going to export it as a png so the highest value for x exports the text as a png and i'm sure some of you must have been guessing but you all filled it <laughs> all right so we're going to export it and bring it back into our frame and select this this is width of 163 so i'm going to type 163 and that should give us yeah that's it delete this i'm going to delete the top one center this copy it delete this one um yeah i'll just delete this one let let's leave the radio buttons or the tick all right so we have that um the let's try that again so select this and this open up lottie and this time the text would show but the image would not so let's do a spot and you can see our text is showing so that that is cool 
um, we have to work on the image so by now you must have guessed it so all you have to do next is export the image as a PNG as well or as an SVG you can test any of them and they would work all right bring this in we know the size the size is 44 so we're going to bring it into our, our stuff all right send that to the back and delete this other one select this center it this way copy that delete it from here select the frame and paste that in there all right and we can test that again to see if we have something um, intuitive all right and that is how you can do it guys I don't know why that red line is showing there let me try to see what is happening right all right so that is it you can now click on insert as gif and I'll just choose a smaller version so that it doesn't take much of our time and so guys this is it here you can cancel or save it all right and i'll just close this out and we have our gif here so let's see if this indeed is a gif even though it shows here as gif and you can click to even see like a preview of it you can play it and it's going to play all right you can do that but let's see indeed if this is a gif so draw a frame around it and then we can play it to see if that gives us the results that we went for so i'm going to enlarge this fill screen and you can see it here you can make your adjustment for yours to be better and sure you export in the top quality all right i exported in medium and you can see how um pixelated the images all right so that is how you can create your gifs in figma using the lotti um phi and the white streak all right i'll see you guys very soon and um, until then keep creating magic bye bye